When I, we last left off, I was talking about lighting, and I was lighting up my room. Here. Yeah. And it looks pretty good. It's pretty well lit. This, I think, needs to be moved a little bit. Oh, uh, actually. And that looks spectacular. Alrighty then, I need more lighting out here. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to turn the point radius up. And these are actually going to have to go up a little bit higher. Random is good, actually, because it's more realistic if it's random. In this, I kind of want to be dark because there's a monster in here. So, let's give it a test run. Alright, here we are, giving it a test run. Let's start up the tutorial. Alright, yes, that's much better. Much, much better. That is definitely better. The lighting looks wonderful. You can actually see now. And there's these dark boxes in the corner, which conceals the things pretty well, which is what we want. Now let's go out in this room. Oh, this is a little brighter, not too bright, but pretty bright. We don't want it too bright though. And this one we want. Wow, that one looks nice. And. It looks great. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to make this door right here that the monster stays behind. I'm actually going to lock it and I'm going to name it Monster Door. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to save my map. And the reason I'm locking this is because I'm going to actually make a key that will unlock it and I also want to make it unbreakable because otherwise the monster will destroy it. Disable breakable Alright, now I want the key. Where do I want the key? I think I'll put the key right here on with this this little candlestick. So we need item. We need key study. And create on surface and put it right there. Now we're going to name this key monster door key one press enter and save now when you go to pick this up it'll say picked up machine room key um, we're gonna change that okay so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go into your custom stories find your map name and go into the maps folder and you're gonna need a notepad plus plus and I will include all the links that of everything you'll need in the video description but this you want to open your HPS file if you do not have an HPS file I will actually include a link to one in the video description anyway edit with notepad and you'll see run when entering map void on enter all this scripting garbage anyway what we're going to need is something called you're also going to need this 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 website right here script functions and i will also include a link in for that so you don't have to go looking for it if you don't want to but you're going to need something called add use item callback and we're going to put that right here and this first param we're gonna just quote quote 
And the second param, we're going to put the name of our key, which is monster door key one. And for the second part, we're going to put our door name, or third param, I'm sorry. And our door name is monster door. Okay, so I'm going to put monster door here. And on our third param, or fourth param, I guess I should say, is used used key on door. And our last param is true. Okay. Now we're gonna need the where is it? Add use item. We're gonna need the syntax. Which is right there. And we're gonna need to make. Alright, now we're gonna need another thing called whoops, use key on whoops, up. Gotta go to the top of the page. Used set swing door. I'm sorry. <laughs> door locked. Set swing door locked. We're gonna need to copy that. Okay. And we're just gonna put it right here. And for the first param, we're going to need to put the name of our door, which is monster door. In our second param, we're going to put false. And in our third param, we're going to put true. And the next thing we're going to need to do is play sound at entity we're going to copy that we're going to put it right in there in our first param we're going to put quote quote and on our second param we're going to put unlock Whoops, uncle. <laughs> Underscore door. Um, try to make this quick because we're about out of time. But the next one is our door name. It's not a monster door. I was thinking of my other map. And our next parameter is going to be zero. I guess I don't need quotes. And our last parameter is going to be false. And the next line after that is going to be remove item. Remove item. Void remove. No, remove item right here. And we're going to put the name of our key right here. So monster door key underscore one. Okay, now you want to save this. Okay. Now. Okay, and on our key in our map, we want to go to entity and in custom sub item. Let me open my notepad plus plus. It's we're going to name it monster door key. Just plain old monster door key. Right here, monster door key. Now we're going to save that. Whoops, we've got to press enter, I guess. I'll save. 
And the next thing you're going to need to do is download extraenglish.lang. I include a download link in the video description. Um, this, you're going to open in Notepad++, and this will give you your description of your key and the name of your key when you pick it up. And this is also for your description of your story when someone clicks on it to load it. So let's just do this real quick. This is a tutorial. Alright, now we're going to need to create a new category, which is already created for you if you downloaded it. But you need to create the category Inventory and Description Name Monster Door Key. So Monster Door Key. And on the name, we want to put Monster Door Key. And for this, we're going to do Description key to monster door and this one is going to be monster door key now save it and make sure when you download it you put it into your custom stories tutorial or whatever your map name is just put it in here with custom stories settings.cfg and save it whoops I saved it as a text file that was my bad what you want to save it as dot lang which is language language file okay now that we have that done and the map is saved let's say here the map is i had gotten an error so i had to like re-edit the file but i will include a download link for your script too if you don't have time see it says monster door key and now we should be able to unlock that door with this key. See it's locked. Use it. Look at that. It works. I will see you on part 7. Thanks for watching.